Okay, I'm back, and in this video, we're going to test the CG of the airplane. Um, had somebody at the field one time ask me, how do you test the CG? I just use my fingers. And I says, well, I used to use my fingers, and I got one of these CG machines. The CG machine comes in a box, looks like this. It's made by uh, Great Planes. Uh, Tower Hobby sells it. And it's a great little device, much more accurate than your fingers. If you got a small little two pound airplane, okay, fine. Fingers are probably going to be close enough. For, th for this uh, monstrosity that's sitting on my um, bench here with a, with a big, long, nearly 80 inch wing, um, it's essential. Um, um, the um, range of the CG for this airplane. Uh, first off, let me show you the thing when it's set up. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's set up. Okay, very simple to set up. And I usually run it with this, like this, so that the arms go this way, and I'm going to pick this airplane up and set it down. And then <clears throat> this airplane it, CG range is between four and five inches. Well, you got this nice ruler here. And this out here to uh, hit the front of the wing. And so from the front of the wing back to here, I've set it to four and a half, which is right in the middle of the range. So four and a half uh, is what I'll uh, measure the CG at. And uh, we'll see how close it is. <clears throat> so um, uh, I'm not going to hold that thing up with my fingers because um, I'd drop it. And uh, sitting here like this, you can pick it up easily, set it down, and that's what I'm going to do next. So I'll be right back. I need to get the airplane ready to move. Okay, I'm back, and uh, here's the CG machine with the airplane on it. Um, the, um, <clears throat> the manual says anywhere between 4 and 5 uh, inches. I prefer to use millimeters. And... Uh, Right now, it's sitting at 115 millimeters. You divide that by 25.4, and you get a 1.52. So 1.52 inches, or 115 millimeters. <clears throat> millimeters are easy to read because the millimeters are on the bottom scale, and that's what the pointer is. So that's 115 millimeters on both sides. Okay. And how do I know it's level? Well, I got a little level here. Okay, let me take a level off. And um, it didn't weigh much, uh, but it's a tiny little level. It's got a little um, um, black thing to hold it in place so it doesn't slide around. And it doesn't weigh much, so I don't worry about it affecting the CG very much. And I figure the hatch up here should be nice and level. Uh, that would that would mean to me the airplane is level when the hatch is level, and so uh, guess what? It's level 115. Um, the bat oops, excuse me. The battery is sitting back here uh, in the first part of the cabin, first section of the cabin, but it's it's sitting back to the back here uh, against the former in the first part of the cabin. So, um, I think that's uh, going to work. Uh, I think the, um, uh, now that I know that, I know probably how I'm going to fix that down, but we'll see. Um, but when you do this, especially with a ar large airplane like this, have a little level that you can use. The CG machine comes with a, a small little level like this. Um, but it's just that. It's just a level. It doesn't have anything. You have to sort of glue it to a piece of balsa or something like that to, to make sure it stays level. Um, so you can sit it on something. I picked this one up somewhere else. I don't know where I picked it up. But the CG machine does come with a level that looks like that. And you should use it. And you should determine where on the airplane you can measure level with a level. Because certainly it would be hard to measure it up here or on the back down there. Uh, the horizontal stab might be another place and it looks pretty level, but this right here, I think is where, um, I'm going to measure level and declare this one 
as balanced with no changes other than the location of the battery. Um, by the way, when I hooked the wing up this time, I did hook all of the servos up and the battery up um, because the next test is going to be to test the control throws of the servo after I take it off the machine here. So uh, thank you very much and stay tuned to the next video.